what's up guys it's been a long time since i've last made a video like this it's been a couple of years since i made a uh, manga collection video so i have a proper bookshelf now with six shelves the lighting isn't you know the best in here but best to work i guess it's not much i can really do about it but um let's go to the very first shelf here so i have soul eater one through 25 I have Death Note 1 through 12, and then I have Death Note Black Edition, Tokyo Ghoul 1 through 14, and then Re 1 through 16, Uzumaki, Tomi, Frankenstein, Dracula, which is not a manga, that's just a regular book. And then this next shelf here, I have The Walking Dead 1 through 6, and this lighting is so bad bad um and then i have berserk one through seven soul eater perfect edition which is just a nicer format of the regular one this is hardcover version so one through four of that attack on titan one through four let's get close you can't really see this zelda twilight princess which is really cool that there's a manga of it which is one through three which is not complete. Everything on the shelf here is not complete. Then I have Hunter Hunter 32, 35, and then 36. You can barely see that this Lord of the Rings. And then the next shelf. This is um this is actually my uncle's, which is Blame or Blom. I don't remember how you pronounce that thing. It's it's Blom, I think. But uh yeah, there's supposed to be like six or something volumes of that in total. I only have the first two. I haven't even read it yet. And some game guides and other stuff so yeah that's my entire collection you might notice i have kind of duplicates of one another and um i'm a huge fan of soul leader and i'm also a huge fan of death note so but yeah that's pretty much it that's my entire manga collection a lot bigger than beforehand um i may showcase each volume or like each um series just kind of get my thoughts on it or showcase the art i might do that i don't know if i don't do that then this will probably just be the end of the video um, I'll see how it goes, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, thanks for watching Okay, so my first series that I have that I own is Soul Leader So we got volume 3 19 and then the perfect edition just kind of grab random volumes Just gonna kind of showcase the artwork and kind of give my thoughts I guess on them So it's very hard to do with one hand just saying so This is Soul Leader. This is what got me into anime to begin with back in 2011 yeah i was just kind of obsessed over it during the time i thought it was the coolest thing of all time i like it the artwork is cool it gets kind of more uh, i guess you could say mature or darker as the series goes on i'm trying to speed up with this um this is volume 19 or something like that yeah um looks cool i really like how this looks this is who my profile picture is which is death a kid if you're not familiar with, you know, who that is. Then we got Soul Eater Perfect Edition, which is a lot nicer. Higher paper quality and all that. Looks cool. And we got Death Note. Probably my favorite anime. At least I think it is. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe what your favorite, you know, of something is. It's very, very similar to the anime. There's almost no difference. I forgot to mention that with Soul Eater, very, very different up to a certain point the anime is kind of awful at the ending yeah okay, that's death note black edition just a you know a precise comparison you can even see it's, it's bigger nicer and then we have tokyo ghoul and tokyo ghoul v love this series a ton it's very kind of edgy though <laughs> kind of like that you know edgy high schooler vibe i guess you could say i don't know people who can make this you know awesome manga or anime kind of cringe online but i love it it's really cool love the artwork in this it's awesome um the artwork in re can get kind of messy in the later volumes but yeah if you've seen the anime just just stop watching after the first season really it's, it's gets way better the manga is a billion times better and then this is uzumaki i'm just going to show you this one i also have Tomy and Frankenstein, but I didn't feel like bringing them out to be honest. This is, you know, 
His style is very similar. The main reason you buy Junji Ito stuff is for his artwork. I mean, they're spooky and kind of scary, I guess, but it's more just really cool art. Like, this looks awesome looking. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like, it's a like grown up version of Goosebumps, I guess you could say. But yeah, it just looks really cool. The artwork is really cool. And um, if you have to start with any of his series, I would go with Uzumaki as the first one. It's awesome. It gets kind of progressively more and more kind of crazy as it goes on. Walking Dead, I got one through six. Um, not really much I can say about it. It's a zombie show. People, you know, know about it because of the TV series, which I love. The first few seasons are awesome. And then it kind of gets progressively kind of worse, I would say, after like the fifth or sixth season. But yeah, it's uh, the manga, not the manga, the comic book is a lot faster paced. And I definitely recommend it. It's really cool. Berserk Deluxe Edition, which is one of my um, more recent pickups. I love this. The anime, the 90s anime, was really, really good. It's kind of what got me obsessed over the series. I got to be kind of careful what I flip to because, you know, like even the first page is kind of intense. Um, but yeah, lovely artwork. It's probably one of my favorite mangas, I would say. That's pretty graphic there. Uh, I want to show a very cool, kind of double-sided panel here. It's okay, it's not actually... You don't actually see anything. <laughs> um, see, like, that looks really cool. That looks awesome. Let me... Hold on one second. Oh so, yeah, this is a double-sided panel. It looks really cool. Um, I really like these bigger editions. The deluxe edition. You can still get the regular ones. Um, but it's a lot higher quality this way, and it's slightly cheaper like i said this is actually not mine this is i'm uh, borrowing this from my uncle so yeah this is more about the artwork blam is more about the art it's very atmospheric there's not really much words it's more kind of like a cyberpunk apocalyptic aesthetic but yeah it just looks really cool looking that's really all i can say about it because i don't know what it's even about this still looks really cool look how <laughs> look how creepy that is I like this, it looks so awesome. It's very unique. It reminds me of um, Ergo Proxy. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of very, sort of similar aesthetic. And then I'll just end this video off with these last three. So Attack on Titan, I think everyone kind of knows what that is by now. Very popular anime, it's really, really good. I'm kind of more into the anime than, than I am into the manga. The anime is so good. And like the soundtrack of it is like half of the, you know, the excitement of it. Um, but yeah, I still recommend reading the manga. I only have the first four volumes, so I can't really give much of an opinion on it. But uh, the anime seems to follow it pretty closely. Zelda Twilight Princess, my favorite Zelda game. So I felt like I had to get this. Love the artwork. Midna is really cool. Um, it looks kind of a furry thing. That's not what this is, by the way. That's just a temporary thing. It's in the game, there you go, now he's back to normal. <laughs> but yeah, that's Link. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm explaining that. So he does talk in this, which is a bit weird, but you know. If he didn't talk in this, it would be, I feel like it would be even more uncomfortable. But yeah, that's Twilight Princess, love how this looks. There's like 10 volumes or something like that in total. And then this is Hunter Hunter, just trying to get the last arc. The artwork is kind of okay, it's kind of infamous for not being the greatest, but... No, I think it's okay. It's, you're, you're more watching it, or reading it for the characters and the story, I guess you could say. But yeah, that's every manga that I own. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of random video of mine. Definitely happy with my collection that I have so far. But yeah, if you have any uh, questions, uh, leave down in the comments. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.